welcome back to Farming Simulator and an unusual video for me. I don't very often do map tours, but this one is kind of cool. I want to say thank you to Farm Sim Briscoe. He actually sent me an early copy of this map last week, um, but I didn't get a chance to record anything because if you're a regular on the channel, you know my dad is ill at the moment and I had to go see them at the weekend. So it's such a cool map that I wanted to do something. It is available now through itch.io. I will put a link below. Um, it's his first ever map. It's actually his first ever attempt at modding in Farm Sim. And boy, has he done an impressive job. I've not really had a chance to play on here in particular, um, but I have had a look around the map. Got an idea of the feel for the map and i just wanted to show you some of the thing some of the farms and stuff um if you want to see some nice uh, some really nice cinematics of the map oxy has an awesome video i'll link that below as well if i remember he's also got a 40 minute map tour which covers quite a lot of stuff um i haven't watched it but farm some guy also did spend a couple of hours streaming on here so go check those out you probably have already because they're much bigger than me but yeah so again thanks to farms and briscoe for sending this over it's the first time i've ever been sent a an a pre-release copy of a map and so that was really cool um this is a, a four times map and it's based on um cantley in norfolk in the uk um that is because farms and briscoe wanted to play um near where he lives so yeah he uh he did what maybe some of us have dreamt of doing and rather than saying please someone make me a map of where i live he uh learned how to do it made the map and has done a what i think is an amazing job um there are a lot of required mods that you need to download because he's he's leaned heavily on the awesome mods that are available in the community you'll see there's a bunch of lancy boys sheds over here um they're all linked on his itch page and they're links to the original modders so the original modders will get the downloads as well um the building in front of me is kind of a cool feature of this map it is something that i was not aware of um Oxy spoke about it a little bit. Uh, Farms in Briscoe sent me some stuff. I've just been doing a bit of reading on it. Um, across Norfolk, there are these red barns that were apparently built by Dutch farmers um, and they were built before World War II um, in about 19, late 1930s, 1940s. And um, I think there's, there's there's not really a clear story from what i've read but there is a bit of um i think there was a bit of i'm trying to think of the right word um kind of people getting caught up in stories around things and uh the the builders of these barns were actually arrested um because the the theory at the time was that they were being built as pre-staging for um the invasions by the germans in world war ii um so you know they're kind of big you could maybe fit aircraft in them they uh had you know fields around them which apparently didn't have crops in so you know thinking about maybe some sort of airfields to help support an invasion um there is no um i've, I've read a few things about it there's no De definitive evidence that that was the case um i'd be somewhat surprised personally um my grand one of my grandparents is dutch and i can't imagine her ever doing anything to uh to help out with that kind of thing um but that's probably enough of the kind of place i think these are really cool they really stand out on the map there's a bunch of them around the map and uh they look really good um there are a lot of farms on this map i think something like 10 it's very much designed to be a multiplayer or to work well as a multiplayer map there's loads of farms i think i've counted four cow farms there's a really cool big chicken yard on here so if you wanted to do something completely different that's on there a lot of the farms have more than one enclosure as well so if you want to go really big into your cow farming this is a great map for that um yeah 
let's have a look around, I guess. One of the things I'm planning to do is to buy the whole map. Before I do that, I just want to show you, I've started the game in New Farmer. I've brought the Land Rover. That's not included. And it's a UK map. You've got to have a Land Rover. But to give you an idea of what you would start with on New Farmer, you get quite a lot of land. Um, down here, you've got a couple of cow pastures as well. So, you know, it's really quite well set up. You've got uh, one, two, you're quite a lot of grassland. You've got a few arable fields. So, you know, it's a pretty cool start um, in terms of vehicles for starting out. Obviously, um, I forgot to say, this is, a, this is a PC only map, so you can do whatever you want with starting out. Um, but we've got quite a nice range of kit. We've got an Axion 810. We've got a nice Fent there. Nice big John Deere uh, 7R. Decent combine. Um, too many presses that said the, the you do get a Mahindra retriever which I thought was kind of cool um never really see too many of those on the roads in the UK but yeah, nice way of getting around because you've got kind of a split yard on here got a couple of trailers um header for the combine yeah, plow pretty much ev looks like pretty much everything you would want really um yes yeah, what I'm not seeing is any animal feeding equipment if you wanted to get into animals but you've got a baler you've got a little mower you know it's, there's not too much you might you would need to do to get you going on that so um although i've got land right i'm actually not going to drive around the map because it is pretty big if you want to see footage of being driven around the map um check out argus's video um it'll give you an idea but so this is the starter yard so you've got lots of sheds um these are a lot of these are lancy boys sheds you know quite quite nice um and then if we head i should open the map up let me put the hud on um but not map tours are not normally my thing um but yeah got the opportunity to have a look around this one so we are going to as i said it is available now through his itch page um but yeah this is the other bit of the yard that you start with you've got to fairly big cow sheds here if we turn on the interactive markers um because i'm not sure how many cows these sheds hold um i think it's quite a lot um so let's try and find out shall we um it might not let me because i'm in flight mode no let's turn flight mode off and then do it um, don't you want to let me open up that trigger there we go well, it's not in the right place so that's going to hold 140 so right out of starting off you could have 240 cows which is pretty awesome you know um actually something else to mention the map boundary is a custom map boundary that farms in briscoe created himself and i think it quite nicely sections off the map um, but again yeah you've got what, three silage pits over here a couple of manure pits and big sheds is that another set of I think they're sheds uh you know you've basically got starting out if you start a new farmer a heck of a lot of uh you've got a lot of land there you've got a nice looking pasture there actually it would have been uh that would make a really nice area to put in another cow place or maybe for some grazing something like that um yeah so that that's kind of the starter farm i guess they are separate farms so if you were starting out in the game you could you know choose to start down here that's Quite expensive yard but some of the others you know so uh, yeah, they're quite quite big plots of land so you know that that's where you start i'll uh i'll buy the rest of the map and we'll have a look around some of the other yards the next stop on our tour of the oaks is the chicken farm um so this has four huge chicken sheds between them you are looking at six thousand chickens so I think this is quite unusual and if uh, there's there's a bit of space out here if you want to actually run this as a farm you could maybe build a bit of a yard here um yeah this i think this is quite an unusual feature quite cool um maybe something a bit different how you might want to play farm sim uh, i've never gone that heavily in chicken farming but you know it's a big map you could you could you could really uh do something a bit different and um, so this is just north of the the starter farm you can see the red barn there for the starter farm um yeah just 
that's the next stop and then up here is another one of those red barns and another yard so there are quite a lot of these really cool small little yards dotted around the map um this one's got a nice big silo complex but you know you've got a couple of sheds um the big red barn and you know, there's some space to put extra stuff one of the nice features of this map is there is a lot of space as well if you want to build yourself um so let's, uh, let's carry on around the map and we'll see where we stop now. And in fact, not too far from there is another really nice little yard. So you've got some nice sheds here. You've got the uh, Meridian supply point there where you can buy and store a lot of the consumables you might need. Nice bit of barn space. Um, some These yards, particularly these buildings, give me a real kind of homeworldy feel. Um, and driving around the map, it, it's a very... It's a different part of the UK, but yeah, I just kind of get that feel of it feels a little bit like Homeworld to me. Um, off in the distance, you can see one of the other really nice features of this map. Um, I'm not sure where he got this model from or if he made it himself. I've not spoken to him a huge amount, but jotted around the map is this really nice church model. Um, you know, quite a common feature in the UK of you know, almost every little village or part of a village having a church. So that, that feels really good to me. I really like that addition. Um, and then again, you know, we, we, we've barely moved and we've got another really nice little yard here. Um, I'm not sure if this one, no, this one doesn't have animals, but it's the, the one next door does. But you've got, you know, some silage bunkers, lots of sheds, a nice silo. There are so many ways you could start farming on this map. You've got a nice pasture there. Um, you know, you maybe get some animal placeables in there. Um, and then over here, we have another one of the cow yards. This has a couple of sheds again. Um, so lots of space for animals on here. You've got a big old silo as well. You could run yourself a really big dairy operation out of here. Um, yeah, really nice jumped around the map a little bit we are now up here in the uh, the north of the map and there is another yard with a nice little i think it's a custom cow placeable potentially it's quite an unusual shape um it comes with some cows in it so you've got a couple of silage bunkers lots of sheds again a nice silo it's uh yeah most of the yards see you know have kind of a silo lots of sheds and from uh picked up from watching Argus's video that's because um it's designed so that if you're playing in multiplayer none of you are massively advantaged by having a particular yard well obviously there are some that have a lot of animal placeables and you can see there is traffic on this map it is fairly fast traffic from what farms in briscoe said i think it's doing about 55 miles an hour so uh, you're going to want to pay attention out on the roads um let's move on Another kind of unique feature of this map is the animal dealer because it has all of the animals. Um, so we are up at the animal dealer, which if I show you on the map is um, kind of in the middle of the map, which is quite nice. Um, and yeah, the uh, the buy trigger for the animals is on the road just there. But, you know, you can see that we've got stalls of sheep, cows, horses, you know, it's really cool. It looks like there's a cell point in here as well. Um, and just really nicely staged. You know, you've got lots of bales stored up here. I'm not sure what the cell point is. It looks like it might be a bale cell point. Um, I've, I've not had the time I would have liked to put in to prepping this, but really wanted to do something because it's such a nice map. But the last of the really kind of bigger yards, um, and this one is down to the kind of southeast. Um, this has three cow sheds. Um, if you're watching my Attingham series, these are the sheds that I've used, just used on the yard that I've built on there. Uh, really nice sheds, really like them. You've got one of these big red barns, lots of silage clamps there. Um, lots of shed space you've got the uh, the meridian refill point as well so you're not having to drive all the way across the map to get the consumables that you need again i think that's probably set up as a multiplayer kind of thing because you can't you're probably not going to be using store deliveries in multiplayer because you don't want stuff randomly flying around the map um so i think that's kind of a nice way of doing that but yeah it's a really nice big yard again um 
really, really tempted to do something on this map. And one thing to be aware of, because it is a big map, um, there are a lot of trees, as you can see. It does hit the FPS quite hard. Um, you are going to want quite a... Uh, you're either going to be turning down your details settings, maybe, or accepting less FPS. It's, it's, it's a feature of a big UK map, I find. Um, it was the same in FS19. Um, yeah, that's, that just looks really nice, I find. You know, it feels feels good to me. As I said, this is based on a, a real area in the UK, and one of the features of that area is um, a, a big sugar mill. The, uh, the British Sugar has a really big processing plant there, which is what this is. Um, again, it, it I, I watched Argsy's video of driving around this, and... Uh, it felt to me from driving around it on the ground a lot like a kind of industrial site in the uk he got lost i think um and it's kind of how those places are they're kind of big sprawling um lots of dead ends you really need to know where you're going we've got a nice big bga there with a lot of silage clamps um one of the other things that dotted around the map are these nice placeable areas so if you want to add your own placeables there are lots of areas where you can put them in um which is really cool and the other thing which is why i'm over here is there is a custom diesel production built into the map and um, so that's what this is none of your little single building production sites this is an entire facility um and if we scroll down you can put in canola sunflowers or soybeans and you get diesel back out the other end and um, there are some modded trailers included for transporting that diesel if you want to go and sell it yeah i, I love that he's built these big production sites so same for the sugar mill it's not that little building this is the sugar mill site um yeah and, and that you know in the uk that's that's what yeah it's how big something like that would be um we've got a nice little kind of village area down here um, not everything is exactly to scale but again it, it it kind of feels like a a village in the uk you know you've got some grassy areas in there you've almost got like a field tucked behind everyone's houses which is how it is in the uk um, we don't have those big open spaces like you have, uh, say, over in the US. So, yep, you know, uh, behind people's houses, you'll have grass pastures and farmland. Um, there's that big, the uh, the starter cow farm that we were at earlier. Um, I think there are a couple of other spots that I want to take you to have a look at. So we'll do that now and then we'll wrap things up. So first thing place we are, we are up at the store. It looks like some of our kit is up at the store as well. So you're going to have to come and get that. That's quite a trek. But what I like is um, the, the the building that um, Farms and Briscoe has built by the store. Um, I think this is one of Giant's standard sheds, but he's taken it and customized it. It's got, you know, like the furniture in that you might see in a dealership. You know, you could imagine some uh, some big tractors in here on display and then the kind of office area at the back. I thought that was really cool when I saw it. Um, and there there is a some I don't know why, but it really appealed to me and we're not too far from it. So we're going to head over. Um, it was actually going to be my thumbnail because I really think it's a really nice, cool little building. Um, another nice yard here. Um, plenty of space to expand again you know if you wanted to put some placeables and you know, an a, a animal shed or whatever in there um nice bit of barn space as well now let me see if i can find this uh, this really nice little building um i don't know if this is a custom building that farms in briscoe has built but i i really like it it's uh i don't know why it just appealed to me as i was flying around the map i spotted this old cottage and you know to me this kind of sums up driving around the uk in these kind of rural areas um i could imagine this looking even more run down um i could imagine you know a battered old car out the front um very overgrown um because there were lots of properties like this scattered around the uk and I, it just really stood out to me as something that felt very much like the uk um, you know just going down the roads they they feel 
like the UK to me. You've got the hedgerows, you've got the trees scattered around. Um, you've got another little, you know, not quite village area. Again, this is, you know, really how the UK is out in the countryside. You'll get these little groups of houses. Um, yeah, it's a really nice map. I see it's his first map. So if you find problems with the map, there may be, and he's been, I think he's been tested quite extensively. I think he's been working on it for about a year. Um, to give you an idea of how long they've been working on this. I think they've been testing it quite heavily. But if you find issues, be polite. Um, I think he's on FSG's Discord. I'm not sure of the best way to contact him. But, um, you know, get in touch. Point out things that you find that maybe aren't quite right. Um, something else that's worth mentioning, because it's a UK map, it does have a UK Geo, which is kind of cool. Um, had to throw that one in there, obviously. Um, yeah, I love this. I love the feel of this map. I have driven around it a fair bit. I haven't got to play on it as much as I would like. I would maybe have liked to have dived into a few things in more detail. Um, because you're watching my channel, you're probably going to ask questions like, does it work with Maze Plus? Don't see why it wouldn't. I haven't tested it, but it's using all the standard crops and fill types. It hasn't got any extra things added, which means Maze Plus should work just fine. I say I've not tested it, but I don't see why it wouldn't. Equally, I have not tested it with grazing, but most of the pastures are, most of the placeables are from mods, so places like Mod Hub. And a lot of the placeables, if they have a pasture, do support grazing. Most of the ones on here actually don't seem to have pasture land, so you're probably not going to have grazing. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend giving this a look. Um, as I said, it's quite a demanding map, so you, uh, you might need to turn down your details a little bit, or you, yeah, you're going to want a decent computer. So I'm playing this if you're not a regular, I'm playing this on a laptop that's got a 38, RTX 3080 in it. So it's a laptop GPU, but still a decent GPU. And uh, yeah, I'm sitting at about now 50 FPS, but it's quite variable as I go around the map. So yeah. The Oaks, a one, yeah, for I think that's not the first, because Compton obviously is based on a real area in the UK, as is Attingham, but um, a really nice four times UK map based on a real part of the UK. Um, a modder's first go at making a mod, let alone a map. Um, and clearly he's put huge amounts of work into this. So yeah, thanks again for sending it to me early. Sorry that I couldn't get anything out early. Um, but I think Argsy and FSG probably did a pretty good job of showcasing this map as it was released over the weekend. Um, I say it's on itch.io it is pc only because it is a 4x map it will stay pc only i'm pretty sure um when you download it from itch um you can download it for free um it's just one of those weird sites where people miss that you can do that but if you like the map um you can go back and you could use itch to uh make a little donation to farm some briscoe if you want but you don't need to pay for this map um Kind of a hot topic in modding at the moment so yeah check it out um if you enjoyed this probably slightly random slightly scatty tour of the map click the like button uh comments questions or suggestions below and i'll see you next time